Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, open, Bernstein variation, 9, NC510.C3. C3. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. D4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 retreats the attacked bishop to a safe square. This kicks an opposing bishop. BB3 retreats the bishop to a more active square. D5 takes space in the center, protects the knight on e4 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn and attacks the important d6 and f6 squares. B6 develops the light squared bishop and defends the d5 pawn. Nbd2 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the knight on e4. Nc5 attacks the bishop on b3 and controls the e4 square. C3 controls the d4 square and opens up the c2 square for the bishop. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is the last book move. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. Recaptures. That is good. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. The king no longer has casting privileges. It is incorrect. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a miss. This passes up the chance to make a passed pawn. 
it is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. It is best. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. This allows the opponent to kick a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This forks multiple pieces. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even.